Hi, I'm Brian Tang, and I'll be joined today by my fellow classmates, Nilesh, Jiwan, and Amil. Today we're going to talk about what we did for our final project for EE435 Deep Learning from Scratch. In our project, we wanted to apply and demonstrate our knowledge of deep learning concepts and techniques that we have gained over the quarter in this course. To do this, we decided to explore the possibility of using genre-specific music to generate music in said genre. We thought this would be an interesting topic since there have already been some generative models that have been created for generating music in the style of a music composer or artist, such as Bach or Mozart. We think it would be interesting to see how well a generative network does with handling a potentially larger variance within the dataset, since music within the same genre can vary a lot more compared to music by the same composer or artist. Because of the variance, we expect that the result could potentially sound worse, especially compared to generative models trained on the similarly sized dataset with less variance. However, it may also result in music that is considerably more unique. So, as discussed in lecture, variational autoencoders consist of an encoder and decoder, in which the encoder represents the input data as a vector of means and standard deviations in the latent space. The decoder then uses the encoding to try and reconstruct the data. The loss consists of reconstruction for fidelity and KL divergence, which makes latent space conducive to varied sampling. So what makes VAE so effective for music generation is that during training, reconstruction loss is used, which penalizes the network for creating outputs different from the input. Because of this, VAEs generate examples similar to the input data distribution and thus are an effective method for being applied to our use case of music generation. To apply what we learned through exploring VAEs, we worked on a convolutional VAE to generate disco music. We adapted a notebook from Kaggle and optimized it, and this model is based on a vector quantized VAE, specifically a network known as the jukebox model. What the vector quantization allows us to do is turn a continuous signal into a discrete vector for us to train the network. We obtained the disco music in the form of wave files from the GTZAN dataset, which is a dataset that is specifically created for music genre classification. For coding, we use TensorFlow, Keras, as well as Google Colab for the GPU access. Librosa library was instrumental for audio processing. It allowed us to sample music, uh, quantizing it into a vector, as well as visualizing it. If we look to the right, we can see an example of a Librosa wave plot. Through various experimentations, we were able to optimize the network. One thing that was very helpful was increasing the sampling rate to discretize the music with higher fidelity. Increasing the sample rate from what was originally 3000 hertz to 20,000 hertz allowed for much smoother and better quality with less noise. Additionally, we increased the latent vector size, mu and sigma for richer latent representation. What this allows is for greater diversity in the generated samples. We played around with deepening the encoding and decoding networks with additional residual and convolutional blocks. However, we noticed that this did not improve performance. In fact, it actually hurt it. The building blocks of our network were various conv1ds and transpose conv1ds, depending on whether it was an encoding or decoding part of the network, as well as residual blocks. The residual blocks consisted of ReLU activation as well as leaky ReLU activations. And leaky ReLU is a uh, particular interest because it has been shown to have better gradient flow. Additionally, in the residual block, we had conv1ds as well as the typical skip connection known to be in residual networks. The residual block allows for better information flow through various levels of the network. So we applied VAE architecture to our input before we incorporate our tuning strategies, generates the following music. But it has a noise due to the characteristics of VAE and we try to minimize the noise through hyperparameter tuning. After the optimization, the generated music becomes like this.
and the image up here shows how the training process went through. There are the output sound waves. So we can consider a couple steps as follows. As you can see in the figure where people adapt VAEs in the image processing, VAEs are known to have a blurring the object. And this also explains our result why we got a music with noise. Therefore, we can consider using GAN, the Generative Adversarial Network, which sharpens the result. So we can use VAE GAN to sharpen the music with the GAN after making it blurry with the VAE. In addition, we can also try look into the RNN or LSTM-based models and latent-based manipulation, and this will interpolate between different songs and slightly change the existing music. So here are the references that we have referred to, and that's it for our project. Thank you for listening.